So let's look at question number two. It says uh, figure 2.0 below shows a longitudinal section through a beam seat. Figure 2.0 shows a longitudinal section through a beam seat. So we have been provided with a beam seat which has been labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Now the first question is saying identify the parts labeled A, B, C, D, and E. So they want us to identify these parts of A. Uh, beam seat. Okay, so we have uh, part D. So this part, the outer part, this one represents the tester. So this is our tester. Okay, this is our tester. Then A, A we have this part which is uh, developed into a what? Uh, a shoot system. So this one is called uh, the Brumley. Okay. The then we have our B, the one which is now developed into uh, the shoots, the root system. Okay, this is our reticle. This is our reticle. Then we have got our C, which is our micro pump. This is our micro pump. Okay, then E, E, we have our cotton. This is our cotyledon. This is our cotyledon. So these are the parts. We have our tester, which is D. Then we have our prune, which is A. We have our radical, which is B. Then we have our micro power, which is C. Then we have our what? Our cotyledon, which is what? E. Okay. Now it's very, very important uh, for you to know the functions of these parts. It's very, very important. So for the sake of revision, let me run you through. Uh, let's revise uh, the functions of these. Okay, so what is the function of uh, now? <clears throat> what is the function maybe of the cotridon? What is the function of the cotridon? So the cotridon, this one, it stores uh, food and what enzyme. So food and enzyme are stored in the in the cotridon. Okay, then so the function of the cotridon is saying it is where food and the enzymes are stored. Okay, then micro power. This is an opening where water enters from. So water enters into uh, this seat through the through a very very tiny hole which we call a micro power. So the function of the micro power is where water enters from as it enters the water seat. So it's just uh, a small opening where water enters room. Okay? As it enters into the water the seat. Okay? Then our radical our radical this is now uh, the part which develops into uh, the root system after germination. So after germination, we know what germination is. After germination, the radical develops into what? Into uh, the root system. Okay. So the part which develops into uh, the root system is called the radical. Sometimes we just the question to say what is the other end of the radical. This one is called an uh, embryonic. Uh, root embryonic root that's the radical embryonic root sometimes we may be asked a question like uh, identify the parts of a seed which makes up the embryo of a seed so the embryo of a seed is made up of uh, the primary and the radical so the function of the radical uh, it, it is a part which it develops into a what the root system after germination radical develops into the root system after germination Okay, then uh, we have our primary. What is the function of the primary? The function of the primary it is to develop into uh, the shoot system after germination. So the primary develops into uh, the shoot after germination. Okay, the primary develops into the shoot after germination. The right go develops into the root after. Generation. Then the tester, I think that the main function of the tester is just to protect the inner parts of this one. It's just for protection, like protecting the, the inner parts of, of the seed. So it has a protective function. Okay? So the function of the tester is saying to protect the inner parts of the seed. The primary develops into uh, the shoots after generation. The radical develops into the root after 
deviation, then the microbe will say this is just a small uh, through which uh, water enters the, water, the seed. Then the cotridone, you are saying the cotridone uh, it stores water and enzymes. So these are the functions of uh, these parts. Okay. Now let us uh, move on. Question B. It's saying describe the row of structure B, C, and D, E. So B, C, and D, E. So what is our B? So you are supposed to be very, very careful when handling these questions. Okay. So if you identify part B wrong, then you're also going to get this uh, question wrong. Okay. So correct identification is going to help you to get these other questions in. correct. So what is our B? B this is uh, the radical. So what is the function? Remember we said the radical develops into uh, the root system after germination. I hope you know what germination is. You know what germination is. So what is germination? You know germination is simply the developing of a seed into a seed. That is germination. So we say developing of a seed into a what? A seed tree. Okay, this is what we call germination. Okay, this is what we call germination. So germination is the uh, developing, uh, developing, the developing of a seed into a what? Into a seed tree. Developing of a seed into uh, a seed tree. That is what we are calling it, uh, germination. Okay, and you know, uh, for this germination to take place, uh, there must be uh, three major conditions which are necessary for this germination to occur. And these are, these are, what we have? We have oxygen, we have water, and we have favorable, favorable, favorable or optimum temperature. So these are the conditions necessary for generation to, to take place. Why am I talking about generation? Because there is a point where we are saying the function of B, which is the right code, the right code develops into the root system after generation. So after a seed has uh, developed into a seed tree, the one which develops into the root system is the right code. Then the one which develops into the shoot system is uh, the problem. Okay, so let's now proceed. Sometimes uh, during the final exam, you will be asked to explain these conditions, the conditions needed or necessary for germination to take place. So, oxygen in this one, it is necessary for respiration. The seed needs to undergo respiration. We need to develop into a seed drain. Then, uh, water, this water, it softens the water, the tester, this, this outer tester, it's hard. So, for it to be soft, there must be water, or you can say moisture. Okay, you can say water or moisture, there is no problem. So this water or moisture, it softens the what? The taste of the outer part of this seed. Okay, so when this outer part of uh, this seed becomes soft, it enables uh, now the plumlet to penetrate and the right core to penetrate. So the plumlet is going to develop into the shoot system and the right core is going to penetrate into and then develop into a what? Uh, the root system. Okay, so the function of B we saying B develops into the what in the root system. Then C, this is just a passage of water. Water passes through the micropowers, enters the C. Then E, E, what is the function of E? E is the what? The cotridone. The cotridone, it stores our food and what? Enzymes. Okay. Let's look at question C. It's saying uh, figure 2.1 show the position of the primary after exposure after exposure of the seed drain to one side light for six days. So, uh, this seed drain, it was uh, exposed to what? One side, uh, it was exposed to a, a light coming from one side for six days. Okay, and this is what happened. You realize uh, the broom uh moved towards as it was glowing, now it was exposed to one side light, meaning light which was coming from a single side. Light was only coming from this side. Okay? Now what happened, uh, since this, uh, this plume or this shoot 
it needs a light for it to undergo photosynthesis so it should move where light is coming from you can see this uh, this bloom lane has kept moving towards the, uh, the, what, the source of light where light is coming, what it's coming from okay so this is the illustration they're talking about okay so now they are saying explain the effects of one side light on the bloom lane so what uh, what is the effect of uh, one side light on the bloom lane so like in this case the effect is so what happens is if light is coming from one side so we have this part this part this part it's a light part because it is a civil light then you have put the dark part inside okay now we know uh in this under plant growth we talk about uh, a hormone called oxygen we have a hormone called oxygen the hormone is what called oxygen this hormone it is the one that promotes growth in my in plants, like in this case, we're talking about the one who's going to promote uh, growth of the shoot. So what's going to happen? Uh, this this oxygen it is going to be concentrated on the on the dark on the dark side dark side of this what is this this bloom. Okay, okay. So the oxygen is going to be concentrated. It is going to be highly concentrated on the dark part of this uh, shoot. So uh, the high concentration of the oxygen on the dark part of uh, the, the, the bloom lane is going to cause what we call elongation to take place and that elongation is going to move uh, this, uh, this, this shoot or this bloom lane that's turning towards what, where light is coming from so we're going to have cell elongation this side okay, cell elongation this side we're going to have uh, promotion in terms of growth this side then we're going to have like retardation in terms of what, growth this side hence the, what, the, the shoot is going to move towards what light so the explanation is here. Uh, one side light causes oxygen to move to the darker side. This is the oxygen I'm talking about. It's going to move to the darker part side okay, of the bloom lane, where where they cause where they where they cause elongation of cells. So as these oxygen hormones are uh, highly concentrated to the darker part, they cause what you call cell elongation, promoting growth on the other side, on this other side, okay, hence causing this to bend, okay, to move towards in a light, okay, that's uh, the meaning of this explanation, okay, so one side light causes oxygen to move to the darker side of the problem where they cause cell elongation, okay, of the cells, okay. Now, let us look at number number two. What is the benefit of the effect to the syndrome? So, what is the benefit? How is this beneficial? So, it's like this one. It's like we're talking about a positive phototropism because you realize uh, this part of a plant is moving towards what light, and that's what positive phototropism. So, it's like the person is saying, what is uh, the, the import, What is the importance? Or can say the benefit of positive phototropism. So positive phototropism it helps the plant to to respond or to move towards what light. And you know this sunlight it is needed for photosynthesis. So he said it ensures that the leaves of the seed tree are exposed. Ah, uh, you can say are exposed. Sorry for that. Are exposed to sunlight needed. It's supposed to be needed for photosynthesis okay so it ensures that the leaves of the seed tree are exposed to sunlight needed for the process of photosynthesis so these are the answers to this question ladies and gentlemen okay we can now proceed to question three